Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. I am back with my next video on Apache Flume. In this video, I will be talking about uh, multi-agent flow. Multi-agent means that when we have more than one agent available in Flume configuration. Uh, the previous three videos which I posted uh, as far as Flume is concerned all consist of one agent. So here, like you can see that I have already opened up the uh, official website or documentation guide of Apache Flume. And they've already have given that scenario that when we have more than one agent available. So we'll just try uh, just to simulate that scenario in our system, right? So let me first take you to that uh, scenario, which is given on the official website, official documentation guide. This is the setting multi-agent flow. This is what I'm talking about, in which uh, you can see there are two rectangular boxes. Uh, one uh, rectangular box representing one agent, other rectangular box is representing another agent. And you all know that agent is consisting of three things, source, channel, sync, source, channel, sync. So we have two agents, which is connected with the, a common protocol, which is error here. Guys, RPC stand for remote procedure call. And in this case, they're just simply, they're uh, suggesting us that two agents are communicating with the help of some common protocol. So we just try to simulate the same same practical with our own configuration. As you all know guys that uh, for Flume practicals, we have, to, we have to configure one configuration file. Because we have a two agents, so we have to prepare two files. Uh, for that reason, I've already opened up the two files which is required for this experiment. So let's start with this. The first file I'm using is with the name flume1.conf. As you all know guys that uh, every file that we are configuring for flume must be must be having this suffix .conf, right? So in this case, what we're gonna do now, as I already have shown you the scenario, this is the scenario, that I'll be having two agents. I'll be getting the data from the first agent source and will be outputting the data from the second agent sync. It means my first source will first source will be some something different, and my final sync will be something different. For this ex, uh, for this practical, I'm making use of my source as spool dir. Spool dir guys, uh, meaning is spooling directory. Uh, spooling directory meaning is that uh, it is a kind of a, repos a repository. If I'm copying some data in that directory that file contents will be serving as an agent, right? Let's suppose I'm having a directory. The, this directory we have to create dir spool. In this directory, if I'm moving some set of files or maybe a single file, that file contents will be serving as the events for the flume. So what we're gonna do now, whatever the file I'm copying on this directory, okay, it will be my input and same data I'll be getting as the, as the output from my second agent sync. This is the objective. As I've already have said that both the agents are connected with the common protocol. In this case, a common protocol is Avro. So let's start. First of all, I'll be discussing both the files. Then I'll be discussing that what's the reason why we are using a common port number in the both files. If I start with the first uh, configuration guys, like you can see this, the uh, agent name is agent one. And in this case, uh, first three lines are nothing but defining the agent. As you all know that agent is having three things. So that's why we have a th uh, three lines available. Agent one dot sources, agent one dot sinks, agent one dot channels. As guys, you all know that uh, it should be, it should not be singular, right? That's why we have a S at last. So I'm defining my source as source one, my sinks as sink one, my channels as channel one. Here, I'm just binding my source and sync together. So I'm letting the system know that my source one is connected to channel one, my sync one is connected to channel one. So it means I'm binding the three things together. Afterwards, I'm just like describing what's my source type. My source type is spool dir. Spool dir stand for spool directory. So as you all know guys that spool dir is a kind of a folder or directory. We have to give a path that what's my path of this 
spool dir in my local file system afterwards guys uh, i have to specify my sync my source is done source is spool dir now i have to define my sync the sync i'm making use of one of the sync which is available as per the documentation guide it's avro so my type is avro and, and guys you all know that maybe that avro is also need the address like netcat like in a netcat we have specified the ip address and port number similarly it require that socket address so it's working on local host because we are working on our local machines okay we are not connected to internet here and the port number is you can take any custom port number it's not the constant number so i'm using 1005 and here i'm defining my channel is file channel guys there are multiple type of channels available like memory channel file channel jdbc channel so i'm making use of file channel again you can customize then we have two further lines are written here checkpoint dir and data dir guys i hope you must be aware about this uh, meaning checkpoint means that it is a kind of a snapshot we are taking uh, in a regular interval of time because so that if something happens we don't have to start from scratch so this directory which will be available in my home location in my local file system will be keep on like uh, adding checkpoints from a in a regular interval so that if something happens we don't have to start from scratch then we have a data dir so whenever i run this practical it has to store some temporary files some uh, temporary data for that reason the data dirs need to be like need to be present so i have to create this as well so in this complete configuration i have to create three directories okay on my home location one for spool dir spool dir one is for checkpoint one is for data i'm again recalling the spool dir is nothing but kind of a repos repository a kind of a folder a kind of a directory which will contain some files let's suppose if i'm moving some file in that location that file contents will be serving as the agents not sorry agent it should be events right this is called spool dir if i talk about checkpoint dir meaning is it's that location which is containing some kind of a say points okay so that after some regular interval i'll be having my state save over there if something happens we can able to just roll back to that state then we have data dirs when i run this practical it will be generating lot of files okay uh, so i require some kind of a storage where i can just put those files so this is my first configuration right as a, i already have conveyed that this is a multi agent protocol a multi agent program so we have to create two files one correspond to each agent so my first agent was agent 1 let me open up the second file now in the second file you can see that everything is same everything is same you can see this like agent 1. sources here i'm having agent 2. sources agent 2. sinks agent 2. channels so what thing is different here guys is this one because this time around i'll be collecting my data on sdfs it means i am sending my data via spool dir and same data i'll be collecting via sdfs right so my sdfs directory will be data collector which i have to create as well and i want that file which is which is generated okay in that location must be having a prefix amrit and that file must be having a suffix as dot log it's again customizable you can have your own name and whatever no worries and then my file type is data stream data stream meaning is that it is a one of the format we have like we have a sequence file format we have a data stream format in this case the contents will not be compressed it's a data stream format and again i'm specifying my channel will be file channel similarly guys i'm making the checkpoint dir location and i'm creating the data dir location i hope it is fine and one thing i have to say here that why i'm keeping the same port number in both sides because in both sides the sync of the first agent is having is of type avro and it's listening on local host and port number 1005 and source of the second agent is also a type avro and it's working or listening on the same port number and uh, local host why because obviously guys you know the basic rule of networking 
if we have a common gateway then only data can travel right so you can imagine the two agents as a two different networks if i don't specify or if i'm having different gateway right then how the data will be traveling so obviously for having a common path i'm keeping the sync of first agent and source of second second agent to be on same channel to be on same path right that's the reason i'm keeping both port numbers as same port numbers so that data can be travel so that the data which is which i'm sending via spool dir in a first agent it can be received on the other side and it it can be collected via sdfs right okay so we are done with both the uh, things let's create all the directories now which is ck1 dd1 ck2 dd2 and spool dir and data collector let's do it one by one you can see guys like i've already have uh, opened up my daemons let's create the things one by one ck1 ck2 then i'm having it is dd1 and dd2 done and my spool dir name is it is dir spool okay dir spool everything done and last thing is pending i have to also create a sdfs directory where i'll be getting this data data collector i'm keeping in my home location done so guys all things as set now so let me clear the screen okay so guys in this case as we have a two agents it means i have to run two different commands to make it run first of all we have to open up the second agent first which is agent 2 and in this second file i'm having my agent 2 available my agent 2 my agent name is agent 2 i have to run this file first and the second agent i'll be running in the separate terminal let me first run the second file agent hyphen n flume sorry it's agent 2 hyphen f file location is flume2.conf press enter okay i got a message here that avro source started okay right good now in the separate terminal don't close the previous terminal open up the same thing here flume hyphen ng agent hyphen n agent 1 hyphen f flume 1 dot dot conf right okay done you can see sync started okay so everything is going well one thing is now pending i have to send my data via spool dir okay so my spool dir is available in this location dir spool right so what i'll be doing i'm opening up the third terminal now in this th third terminal i'll be now copying some file content my file content will be let me show you my file which i'll be moving it's big data dot txt it's having this is only line one line is written this is big data channel that's it so this is my input data which i'll be passing via spool dir and i'll be collecting this via sdfs okay so how to copy you know with the cp command big data and i'm moving it on dir the spool dir right which is available on this location dir spool on my home location okay done when i press enter you can see something happens behind the scenes okay you can see something happens behind the scenes you can see it is creating the sdfs directory for me 
and had you seen one thing that it is opening up with the amrit it's opening up with the amrit and it's ending with dot log let's check out what i received over there let's check out hadoop fs ls data collector under this location only i'll be getting my answer okay it's available okay it's now renamed let's see what ha what is inside this hadoop fs cat let's copy this and check out it should be containing same data which i have passed is it fine guys you can see this is a big data channel this is what i passed here and if you open up this on your home location also if i'm just uh, opening up this dir spool you will see one thing here that that big data.txt which i moved in which i copied will be having a suffix suffix dot completed you can see it means this data has been completely written and i have received on the other agent sync which was sdfs right i hope uh, you must have understood the concept of multi agent right guys please uh, like comment on this video and just let me know that how you liked it or how you find it right so i'm i'll be waiting for your comments thanks for watching see you next video